All right, good evening everyone and welcome to the Kansas Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions that has happened as part of the Kansas Virtual College Fair. And in about a week or so, you can return to the website where you originally submitted your registration and view on demand all the different sessions that were available. Now, without further ado, I'm pleased to turn it over to our presenters and we'll start off with Southwestern College. Hey, good evening. I'm Rodney Warsham from Southwestern College. And uh, I don't want to spend the next couple of minutes just hitting you with 50 million slides and statistics. I would just encourage you to go to our website, beabuilder.com and just request a view book. I would be happy to mail you a view book with all of our stats. So I just wanna talk with you a few minutes about Southwestern and what makes it unique. I am your admissions counselor at Southwestern College. So whether you're at a public high school, a private high school, or even homeschooled, or you're a parent or a high school counselor, I am your contact person. And I'm available through text or email or FaceTime or Zoom, whatever works best for you. I want to say that Southwestern College, we are open and we are thriving. Our administration has gone above and beyond to make sure that our students are safe. We're wearing masks, we're social distancing, but our classes are being held uh, and visits are available anytime Monday through Friday. And we also do campus visits on Saturday. So I know there's several uh, other colleges that you're about to hear about and maybe you want to visit one of those colleges like Cali or Labette or Pitt on a Thursday or Friday and then visit Southwestern College on a Saturday. I can't stress the importance of visiting a college and applying to your top colleges. During the month of October, we are waiving all application fees. So if you're watching and maybe you've got 10 colleges that you're looking at, feel free to go on to beabuilder.com and apply to Southwestern College and we will waive your application fee. Currently right now, we are accepting students just based on their application and high school transcript. So you can email me even a student copy of your transcript or your school can send one by parchment or mail or email. And that's what we'll use to get you accepted to SC. If you have an ACT or SAT score, that would be great. Or if you haven't taken it yet and plan to in October, December, we can use that to possibly increase your academic scholarship. But right now, we just need your high school transcript and application. Just a few things about Southwestern. We're not a WSU or a KU or a K-State large university. We're not a two-year JUCO associate degree. We're a four-year institution, but we're small. Our teacher-student ratio is 12 to 1. My son is a sophomore at Southwestern right now. My daughter's a freshman. I just had a niece graduate from Southwestern who's now at OU Law School. And in one of my niece's classes, she had four students in the class. So students, if you wanna be a big fish in a small pond, but be able to get a four year bachelor's degree, Southwestern would be a great option for you. We have about 600 students. We're located in Winfield, Kansas, just about 45 minutes south of Wichita. And we are affiliated with United Methodist Church. We have students from all over the United States, um, as well as right here in Kansas. Um, we offer academic scholarships, activity scholarships, and church matching scholarships. The reason I'd like to see you apply by December 1 and visit our campus before Thanksgiving break is so that you can be on campus while our faculty and students are here before they leave for the holiday break at Thanksgiving. On December 1, we'll be mailing out and also available online our full tuition scholarships. Four students are going to win a full tuition scholarship. It's not based on ACT or GPA or family income or athletic ability. It's simply based on an interview and an essay. So if you have not visited our campus, you may really struggle with some of the interview questions about why you deserve the full tuition scholarship. We are the only college in the Kansas region that offers marine biology as a major. So you would spend your first three and a half years on our campus and then your final semester at Oregon State where we have an automatic internship set up and you would graduate with a bachelor's of science 
in marine biology. And we have recent alum that are working at SeaWorld right now. We also issue Dell Surface Pro laptops to every one of our incoming students. We're a wireless campus, so you can be outside after practice, outside of class, and be connected to the internet at all times. You get a brand new Surface Pro laptop. You can take those home with you over the break, fall break, Christmas break, even summer break. So if you take some classes at Labette or Independence or Cali, you could take those classes using your Southwestern laptop and then have those classes transferred back to Southwestern. Comp one, comp two, college algebra, public speaking and general psychology are all general education requirements. So if you're taking those classes now, many students almost even have an associate's degree while they're in high school. You can be assured that all your classes would transfer to Southwestern. We don't require you have to take our comp one or you have to take our college algebra. Right now about 89% of our students are graduating in four years. So CLEP credit, AP credit, or transfer credit would all be accepted to Southwestern College. Again, I can't stress the importance of visiting our campus. You can go to beabuilder.com and apply and also schedule your visit and also to, um, to, to apply and get accepted before December 1 so that you don't miss out on that opportunity to be considered for the full tuition scholarship. Even if you don't win the full tuition scholarship, you would receive an additional $1,000 in scholarship just for competing for the scholarship. So whether Southwestern is your first choice or fifth choice or 10th choice, you definitely wanna throw your name in the hat and see what happens. Again, not only as a employee, but also as a parent. I have two children that are at Southwestern right now. It's a safe campus, it's a friendly campus, it's a fun campus. Uh, my daughter is in the freshman women's hall, which is um, herself and her roommate and a bathroom. And then my son is in the men's uh, hall, which is my son, his roommate, a bathroom, and two other individuals. So no community bathrooms, very safe, very private, very friendly. So again, if you have questions, call me, email, text, have your parents contact me and apply and visit before December 1. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you so much, Rodney. And our next institution is Cowley College. Just one second, sorry about that guys. All right, guys, sorry about that. Um, so what Cali is all about, we are located in our Kansas City, Kansas. So we actually are about five minutes from the Oklahoma, Kansas border. Uh, we have quite a bit of different features here on our main campus. And then we also have quite a bit of different uh, locations. So we are a two-year institute that allows you to receive your associate's degree and be able to transfer on to a university of your choice. So if you are looking to come to our main campus, we have over 120 programs of study. We do have small class sizes, which uh, can range from a ratio of 13 to one. We do have a student population of about 4,500. Now, that does not mean that all of those students do attend here. Uh, we do have campuses, like I said, across the state of Kansas, um, and that allows different types of students from high school to non-trad students to be able to attend. And then it also allows students, um, you know, that like 
earlier, South uh, Western, you know, it allows students that might need to take a class here or there and allow them to uh, take that here and transfer back seamlessly. We also have online options. So that is a feature that a lot of students take, um, whether they are located, you know, located locally or located somewhere else in the States. So um, why Cali College? Well, we are an affordable education. We have quality programs, um, quite a bit of exciting campus life. So if you're, uh, you know, interested in sporting events, activities, performances, clubs, definitely come and take an opportunity to see Cali. We are a nationally recognized, accredited, and topped ranked uh, for our students' success and our athletics. So that is something that we really encourage students to, you know, strive for and look at um, and make sure that when you are looking at colleges, these colleges show that they are fully accredited. At this time, I know we have quite a bit of, you know, differences going on right now with the world, uh, but we also give options for students to have a virtual resource. So if you visit cali.edu slash resources, this gives you the opportunity to book an appointment, take a campus tour, whether you want to do face to face or whether you'd like to just do it online. We have those options. We also have um, an online view book, so we can share our information with you and we would be more than happy to send out information to you. So to attend Cali, uh, we are an open institute, so uh, it does not cost to apply with us. And we are taking students um, currently right now uh, if you've not taken the ACT, that is not a big deal. We do have options that you can do in place of the ACT. Um, if you're a Cali resident, uh, this shows what this is based off of 32 credit hours per year um, or a Kansas resident. So uh, you can see right here, this is just showing if you are coming straight in, um, no financial aid, uh, no scholarships, uh, but all of that can be applied toward here and you could walk away debt free. So we do have quite a bit of amenities on our campus. And one of our biggest amenities is our dormitories. We do have five dorms that are located on campus and we do have one um, off campus. This is off, an off campus housing option. We do not have community uh, bathrooms or showers. Uh, so if you guys are interested, you can always visit cali.edu slash dorms and take a 3D dorm tour or just come to our campus and visit with us. So we are very well known for our athletic programs. We do have quite a bit of championship level uh, sports. So ranging from co-ed cheer to uh, wrestling, um, if you are interested in any of those options, you can go and visit us online. And we do have options um, for students that may not want to play the sports or uh, maybe you guys are looking into something else, whether it's visual and performing arts. We have all kinds of activities that students can get involved with. So to become a Tiger, uh, simply go to cali.edu slash apply and you can apply for admissions. Again, that is a free application. You can send your transcript, you can send your scores, uh, and then we can definitely get you enrolled in class. Visit us at cali.edu and connect with us on social media. Thank you guys. Thanks so much. And our next institution is Pittsburgh State University. All right, can you guys hear me okay now? Yes. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna share my screen here.
All right, my name is Dana Bluebaugh and I work for Pittsburgh State University and I work in the northeast corner of the state of Kansas. And also joining me here today, Brandy Brenner is our central and western Kansas rep and she's gonna be answering questions in the chat. Where Pittsburgh State University is, uh, has the only gorilla mascot in the United States. So very unique, Gus the gorilla, we're very proud of him. So you'll see that everywhere on our literature and website and social media. So Gus the gorilla there, um, down in the southeast corner of the state, you see, see a little yellow star, and that's where Pittsburgh State is located. Um, Pittsburgh, Kansas is about 25,000 people, so kind of a me medium-sized city, and it's truly a college town. It has that um, friendly, laid-back vibe. Everybody there just loves the gorillas, and you see statues and, and pictures of the mascot and stuff all over town. So it's very welcoming for students, um, really friendly place a nice medium-sized city and a nice medium-sized university too. That's the other thing I really love about it, about 6,600 students. So not too big, not too small. We have student to faculty ratios about 22 to one. And so it's similar to high school class sizes where you get to know your instructors. They know you on a first name basis. They give out their cell phone numbers sometimes for students who have questions and are very available for students. Uh, over 200 different majors to choose from, 150 different clubs and organizations. And so it has that big school vibe, nationally ranked athletic programs, um, but yet it's small enough where you do get that personal attention from faculty. So admission requirements are new this year for 2020, or 2021 rather. So GPA of 2.25 or a 21 ACT will get you automatically admitted. So we are kind of test optional then for admission purposes uh, in that respect. We know a lot of seniors had a hard time uh, taking the ACT. And so for admission purposes, we can just look at your transcript or just look at your 2.25. We will want an ACT score when it comes time for scholarships to be considered though, and that would be February 1st for that deadline. Transfer students, if you're looking to go to one of these community colleges um, on here with us today, uh, that would be great. We have a lot of transfer students, 2.0 GPA. Uh, we look for after high school graduation on at least 24 credits. We'll consider you a true transfer student. So academic departments, I mentioned we have about 200 different majors. So we group them into four different colleges, arts and sciences, business, education, and technology. So you can kind of take a look at the different majors, anything from nursing and pre-med to art and music fall underneath arts and sciences, college of business, pretty self-explanatory there, education, psychology is housed under there, and some really unique technology programs. In fact, some of, here are some of the program highlights. Our nursing program is one of our largest majors on campus, about 120 applicants per year, um, interactive cadaver table. We have a really nice facility that we just broke ground on, 5,000 square foot simulation hospital that's gonna be adjacent to our School of Nursing. Business program is accredited, only about the top 10% of, of the business programs in the US are. Education students have about 1,000 classroom hours by the time you graduate from Pitt State, so you're really well prepared to go into those classrooms. Really unique plastics engineering technology program, one of only four in the United States, so really great uh, placement rates and job opportunities there, as well as our construction management program and automotive technology, really unique nationally ranked programs um, out at the technology center. Uh, the tuition at Pittsburgh State, so that left-hand column in-state rate, about 3,752 is what we cost for a semester, um, and that includes um, books, or books are included in their estimate, but that includes a rec center membership, it includes football tickets, volleyball tickets, things like that, your parking pass. We really try to build everything we can think of into these costs, and so that you're not nickeled and dimed later on. So the books are an estimate, just depending on the classes, and the residence halls includes an unlimited meal plan, so uh, as much as you want to eat all week long, and it's also a, a single room. So we just readjusted our residence halls, and so they're not doubles, they're actually single rooms, so that's really nice. Um, so for a year, it's about 17700 and that flat rate for tuition is what makes us really unique. That top bullet, we don't charge per credit at Pitt State, so whether you're taking three classes or five or eight classes, it's the same cost. So you can essentially double major very easily, still getting done in four years. Um, you can take classes for fun. Um, if you get off track and change your major, you can catch up by taking an extra class and it's not gonna cost you anything additional. So we're really excited about that opportunity. Uh, campus living, we do require freshmen who live further than 50 miles from Pittsburgh, Kansas to live in the residence halls. So we have a couple of different living options. We have the traditional room, which is now, as I mentioned, a single room and it does have the shared restaurant room facility with others on your wing. Um, and then there's also a, a suite style apartments and uh, smaller rooms that, or a two person room that has its own bathroom within it. So lots of different options there. All of the halls are co-ed by floor. Um, so guys and girls kind of alternate by floor and they all have um, no visiting hours or curfew hours. We really try to treat it like your own place. Everything's walking distance.
distance when you live in the residence hall. So I, I loved it. It was my favorite year. Uh, we do have some scholarship opportunities we've listed here. Academic Achievement Award is our automatic scholarship, $500 to $1,200, depending on your ACT score, as long as you have a 22 and a 3.2. I will plug our Honors College program. If you're high achieving as far as ACT and GPA, uh, you're eligible for that program, which could pay for your whole tuition for all four years. It does require a separate application and essay for that a January 15th deadline. Otherwise, they're all February 1st deadlines, so plenty of time for you seniors. Seniors also be applying for financial aid now. The FAFSA, October 1st, is when that opened, so it has our school code on here. Athletics, we're NCAA Division II, so we compete uh, in the MIAA conference, and it lists our different athletic programs here. A lot of fun to go out. I said you get free tickets to all the games, so it's great to do that. If you're interested in participating in intercollegiate athletics, I would encourage you to go to the PittStateGorillas.com website and fill out a prospect questionnaire, a recruitment questionnaire about yourself. Other fun activities, though, intramural sports. So uh, right now we have cornhole going on and sand volleyball, and there's ping pong tournaments and three-on-three -three basketball and things like that, but otherwise lots of other leadership opportunities, too. So whether it's Fellowship of Christian Athletes or if you're a knitter and like knit state uh, powerlifting, we've got a veggie Gorillas. If you're a vegetarian, we have a hammock club. So a lot of ways to get involved and meet people. Um, a lot of philanthropic opportunities too and community service that they do. Greek life uh, we have on campus as well. Application process is a $30 application fee. You can self-report your GPA and ACT. Really easy to find on our website, uh, the application for admission. I mentioned there's not really a deadline, but February 1st is our scholarship deadline. So go ahead and apply sooner rather than later because you want to be considered for scholarships and then hopefully we've teased you enough today to encourage you to come down for a visit we still are doing on-campus visits right now and so you can schedule those monday through friday is when those run and here's our website and you can easily find that online as well so um, questions brandy and i here's our contact information feel free to take a quick snapshot of that um, and save that for later and text either one of us or email us if you have questions down the road thank you so much Great, thank you. Just a reminder to everyone, you can use the Q&A widget to ask questions about specific institutions that you're hearing about or broader questions that you'd like our panelists to answer. And up next, I'm pleased to introduce Neosho County Community College. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jenna McDaniels, and I am the admissions rep for Neosho County Community College Ottawa campus. Also with me here tonight is Amy Morris, the Director of Admissions for Neosho County. She's in our main campus in Chinoo. And let me share my screen here. Can everyone see my PowerPoint? Yes, we can. Okay, good. And while serving approximately 4,000 students each year, small class sizes, unlimited free tutoring, and highly qualified instructors help guarantee that you will receive the personal attention that you need to succeed. NCCC offers classes year-round in multiple locations, ranging from our main campus in Chanute to our commuter campus in Ottawa, our online campus, and numerous outreach locations, both in Northeast Kansas as well as Southeast Kansas. All tuition and fee rates are based on student residency and the location of the course being taken. Cost is per credit hour, although some classes do have additional lab or class fees. Book rental is available for most classes to help make earning a degree or certificate more affordable. These figures can change each year and the per credit hour totals listed here should be used for an estimated cost only. The financial aid department provides assist financial assistance in many different ways to eligible degree and certificate seeking students wishing to attend Neo Show. With hundreds of thousands of dollars available in grants, scholarships and loans, along with some part-time employment opportunities, attending college can be an affordable reality for virtually any student. Students must complete the free application for federal student aid, also known as your FAFSA, each academic year to determine assistance eligibility amounts. 
to earn an associate degree, students must successfully complete 64 credit hours in their selected degree program. Our Associate of Arts and Associate of Science degrees are our most popular choices for students planning on transferring to a four-year institution to complete a bachelor's degree program. Our systems our Associate of Applied Science degree offers several majors that can lead you directly into the workforce or can help you transfer to a four-year bachelor's degree. While our Associate of General Studies degree is the perfect choice for advancing in your current job. Earning a certificate takes less time than earning an associate degree and can help move students directly into the workforce. Our certificate programs can be completed in as little as one semester or as few as three semesters, with several offering both level one and level two certifications. Others can be applied to an Associate of Applied Science degree program. Our CNA, CMA, and EMT programs are available, but do not qualify for financial aid as a standalone program. These coursework and clinical skills courses are offered by Neosho to help prepare students to take the state exams in each of the respective content area. Studies have shown that students who are involved in groups outside of the classroom tend to be more successful in college. Clubs, organizations, and programs offer students many different opportunities to become involved with campus and community projects. Find yourself making connections and enriching your life by getting involved in the many opportunities that Neosho has to offer. Student life is an important part of your college experience. By living in the residence halls, you are a short walk from classes and the many events that are held on our Chinook campus. Bedeau Residence Hall is a co-ed residence for 213 students with suite style rooms, a free laundry room in every hallway, a computer with free printing, a movie room, a gaming room, and numerous other amenities make residence life a great option for students. Neocan Residence Hall is our original co-ed residence for 75 students with three separate floors. Two floors are for men and one floor are for women. It has a community style restroom and free laundry rooms area available on each floor while a movie room with a theater style seating and computers in the lobby with free printing are also offered, all students living in the residence halls also receive 19 meals per week in the Neosho cafeteria. You receive breakfast, lunch, and supper Monday through Friday, and then a brunch or early dinner on Saturday and Sunday. Our athletic department is committed to advancing academic and athletic, athletic excellence while enriching students' lives. Student athletes are offered the opportunity to compete at the regional and national levels in 11 intercollegiate sports. Our coaching staff works to develop leadership and teamwork skills while building a reputation as winners on and off the field. As you can see, this is our contact information. Please take a screenshot with your phone if you like. You can reach the Chinook campus at the 620-431-2820 and the Ottawa campus at 785-248 and this number has changed but it's 248-2822 I guess. The 242-2067 is our main campus number and um, each department in Neosho has its own email starting with the department name and then at neosho.edu. Thank you all for giving us your time this evening. Great, thank you Jenna. And up next is Independence Community College. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for taking time to be here so that you can hear about these wonderful institutions. And uh, I am happy to talk with you about ours, Independence Community College. I am Megan Moore. I'm the Director of Recruitment and Public Relations at our institution. And we can't wait to tell you more about what we have to offer. So Independence Community College was founded in 1925. We've been well established in our community. We're located in the Southeast Kansas pocket and uh, we are about two hours away from Wichita, about an hour and a half north of Tulsa, um, kind of in that little range. So it's uh, a wonderful warm town to live in. Um, we have a really incredibly supportive community environment um, and just a lovely community in general, lovely downtown. Uh, we have a free zoo that's available to our community and um, just a lot of really creative 
and innovative things that happen in our space, which is really fantastic. Um, we are also home to the State Theater Festival of Kansas, the William Inge uh, Theater Festival, which uh, was started in honor of playwright William Inge, who uh, went on to great Broadway success. He was raised in Independence, Kansas, uh, went on to win an Oscar, and unfortunately, as his fame began to wane, um, as his career progressed, uh, he found himself in a depression and ended up taking his life. So uh, the Inge Festival itself is centered around celebrating the lives of living playwrights, and we do that each and every year and have for almost 40 years. Uh, this year, our honoree will be Lynn Nottage, who is highly acclaimed, and uh, we will have collaborators in the mix of hers from both coasts. Uh, the, uh, the Inch Festival brings in professionals from both coasts and from the region, which really allows our students to have a networking experience and hands-on experience, either with uh, technical theater, with administrative tasks, um, whether they're doing internship tasks where they could be getting um, possible job connections that way, or uh, students who, we have high school students that work with us as interns, and uh, they are able to have um, opportunity to gain skills that they can put on resumes or to get a letter of recommendation from us going forward if they would like. So really wonderful, broad opportunity, um, something that's very unique to our campus, and we're very proud of it. Um, and we also have wonderful transfer success. We have great two two plus two programs uh, with lots of other institutions as well. So if you're looking to start at a smaller uh, college setting and then transfer somewhere else, we're a wonderful starting place for that. Um, so if that's something you're looking into and uh, would like to know more about that, please let us know. We also have 33 degree programs, 10 certificate programs, very broad, um, very flexible way to uh, engage in your learning. And um, through that, if you're not quite sure what it is you want to do, ICC is a really great place to kind of put your foot in the water, figure out if it's something that you really enjoy or not. Uh, with our really cost effective um, pricing on everything, uh, you can test out different things and see what it is that you might like to do. And you might surprise yourself by taking something that maybe you wouldn't have otherwise and find a passion in your life. So it's a really great opportunity. Uh, moving forward, just our cost point is really incredibly affordable. Um, we're one of the most affordable colleges in the state of Kansas. Uh, we have great avail aid available, including work study and grants. And uh, we also have loans available, subsidized and unsubsidized. And uh, we also have scholarships. We have departmental scholarships for activities. And we also have a stackable scholarship through our ICC Foundation that can get you typically up to 500 extra dollars per semester. So that's 1,000 extra dollars a year. And uh, if your other scholarships are covering where you would only have fees left, for example, um, if that comes in under $500, any money that's left goes in your pocket. So that's a really great opportunity for our students. And as you can see, we've got a broad range of different topics that you can be involved in. Um, in our certificate programs, we have cosmetology, we have veterinary nursing in a very well um, equipped state of the art facility for that. And we also have uh, medical based certificates for long term care, med aid, uh, EMT. And uh, those are all things that work well in our community as far as giving you opportunities for internship and um, possible job expectation after that. Our class size is incredibly small, which is really nice. 15 to one is a great ratio. So you can get to know your peers, you can get to know your instructors. And that's something we hear time and time again from our students is that uh, they feel such support from the staff and faculty at ICC. Uh, that's something that just continues to grow with us. And we uh, really feel that pirate family is important. So uh, we want you to be part of that with us. And here is our team. We have navigators who are assigned to each and every student. So as you come into ICC, uh, one of these lovely individuals will be assigned to you and they will work with you on every enrollment for each semester. If you decide to change the direction that you're looking at for your education, if you are uh, looking at a specific institution where you're wanting to maybe have them reach out to a registrar and see what transferring there would look like. Um, so they work with you every step of the way. If you have questions, they can reach out to our campus and find those uh, questions out for you. It may be something they've already had. So uh, they're a great lifeline for our students. 
And if you are ready to join us at ICC, you are welcome to call or text our recruitment team at 620-288-2588, or you're welcome to email me, Megan Moore, and uh, my email is all simple, all lowercase, M-M-O-O-R-E at I-N-D-Y-C-C dot E-D-U. We look forward to hearing from you, and if you'd like any other information, please feel free to ask. Great, thank you so much. Before we begin our final presentation, just a reminder that after our last presentation, we will um, transition to a question and answer portion. So if you have any questions, feel free to submit them in the Q&A widget right now. But at this point, I'm pleased to introduce Labette Community College. Can everyone hear me okay? Yes, we can. Awesome. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get started. Um, good evening, I am Carly Henson. I'm the general recruiter and advisor for Labette Community College. This evening, I do have with me Brandy Irish, our CTE recruiter and advisor, and she'll be the one helping any, um, answer any questions that you guys may have throughout the presentation. Um, so first, a few highlights about us. We are a two-year institution offering multiple associate degrees, including health science programs and certificate programs as well. Um, our institution is also open enrollment, meaning no minimum ACT, SAT, or ACCUPLACER scores are required. You do have to submit test scores, but no minimum scores are required for enrollment into the college. Uh, additionally, our application process is free, meaning you don't have to pay a fee to apply to our institution. Just simply go to our website and under the admissions tab, click apply now to begin your application. We also offer small class sizes with a 15 to one student to faculty ratio, allowing you that one-on-one -on -one hands-on learning experience. Additionally, uh, we do have a variety of class styles at LCC, including on-ground and online and hybrid options. LCC is also one of the most affordable colleges in the area with a tuition at $109 per credit hour for in-state students. We are also, uh, our institution also provides a friendly atmosphere and robust student life where you can get involved with on-campus activities, clubs and organizations, athletics, work study, volunteering, et cetera. Moving on, um, where are we located? Uh, LCC is housed in the far southeast corner of Kansas. We do have two campuses, our main campus located in Parsons and our satellite campus, the Cherokee Center, which is located in Pittsburgh, Kansas. LCC is also centrally located amongst the bigger cities in our area. We're approximately two hours from Wichita, Kansas City, Tulsa, and the Northwest Arkansas Metro as well. So as mentioned earlier, our institution does offer an array of traditional degrees in health science studies. We have six health science programs, including nursing, respiratory therapy, radiography, physical therapist assistant, dental assistant, and sonography. LCC is also offers many traditional transfer degree programs as well, things like business administration, biology, education, criminal justice, history, communications, just to name a few. Additionally, we are also home to eight certificate programs, including business administration technology, dental assistant, diagnostic medical sonography, electronics technology, graphic design technology, and welding. So I do want to talk a little bit about our scholarships as well. Um, we do offer our academic scholarship, which is based off of high school GPA. So long as you have at least a 3.0 and are a high school senior, you are eligible for this scholarship, which covers tuition up to 16 hours and also offers you money towards books. Our ambassador scholarship also covers tuition up to 16 hours and offers money towards books. And it also gives you an opportunity to work with us in admissions and learn leadership skills and kind of act as the face of the campus. Um, additionally, if you are a Labette County resident, you are eligible for tuition coverage through our institution. And then we also offer activity scholarships to those and those are distributed um, at the discretion of the coaches or instructors of the program. So we do offer um, athletic scholarships and uh, program scholarships as well, depending on what your program that you're interested in is. As a reminder, our scholarship application did open October 1st. It is a one-time application. So 
What that means is you fill out the application one time and that puts you in for all of our scholarships and then our financial aid department gets back with you and lets you know which ones you are eligible for, which ones you do receive and which ones you do not receive. Um, for more information and a full list of scholarships, please visit labette.edu backslash financial aid. Moving on, uh, LCC is a member of the NJCAA and the Kansas Jayhawk Conference and proudly is proudly represented by six athletic programs. So those being men's basketball, baseball, softball, volleyball, wrestling, and women's basketball, both of which have been nationally ranked in recent seasons. Our main campus also offers on-campus housing at the Cardinal Villas. There are two bedroom and four bedroom apartment style living options, meaning that you get your own bedroom and your own bathroom, and you share a living space and kitchen space with your roommates. Each individual has their own lease, and all the uh, leases include all utilities and Wi-Fi. The facilities are spacious and modern and secure and offer multiple resident amenities, including things like laundry area, fitness center, social room, and a study area. So that's pretty much it for us. For more information about LCC to schedule a campus visit, or if you have questions in the future, please get in contact with us by either our email, which you see on your screen now, or by texting hashtag LCC to 620-254-8938. For multiple virtual resources, including a virtual tour and other info, please visit labette.edu backslash admissions. You can also chat with us on our website if you have more questions as well. So thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you to all of our presenters for sharing the, the stories and details of your institution. Just a reminder, final call, if you do have any questions, certainly feel free to drop those in the Q&A and our presenters would be more than happy to answer them. A few reminders before we do that, however, um, when this webinar does end at the conclusion of the Q&A portion, there will be a link to a quick four question survey. And we would appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Also, just a reminder that this was one of many sessions that was being offered as part of the Kansas Virtual College Fair, and recordings of all sessions will be available on the same website where you registered for this one in about a week's time. I do not currently see any questions in the Q&A, so I believe the, the private ones that we received may have covered it. So I will just thank everyone for tuning in this evening. And thank you to our presenters for giving their time as well. Have a great evening.